Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I have put some Anita's white metallic down in a somewhat of a puddle and then tipped it just a little bit to spread it out and made sure it'll go over the ends. I have some mead and white that I intend on spreading just to make the, just to facilitate the flow of paint. I'm not going to worry about that gap in between too much because I think as I swipe it'll probably disappear but I'll do the best I can to get up there right now. That's not bad. That's pretty good in fact. Gosh, I really feel like doing black on the other side. Hmm, I wonder if I should do that. I think it would be better on a day when I actually have another clean spatula because they're all sort of in the, in the wash tub. That does not belong. Right in the middle, of course. I figured I'd try it from the other direction. See if that's a better way of doing this, and it might be. Take that out that does not belong also. I have a selection of colors I just made an awesome swipe with. <coughs> And my intent is to use them and then use some wet paper towels. I'm going to put in all the colors that I put in as an afterthought at the beginning this time. That is a yellow with a little bit of orange in it. It probably started out as a sergeant's or a master's touch. This is Anita's white metallic with some pink in it. These are not meant to be the prettiest colors first. This is some neon pink from Folk Art. It might even be a matte. I may tip these a little bit and let them spread. There's my orange that I almost didn't put in last time. I think I'm going to have actual orange right here. Actually, I'm going to use this fiery red from Arteza because there's not a lot left. Can I get any out? That is the question. Please go all the way. Yes, because I want something bright. I think I used a little red in last time. I know I'm talking about something you haven't seen or you've just seen or you'll see at some point but you don't know what it is. And I'm going to use some Purple Flash from Folk Art. Seems like there's a lot of paint here now. <coughs> I have a little bit of hot orchid left. Those are just gorgeous colors. I think I could tip these and be really happy with whatever I get and be just fine. There's the, the Pink Diamond, which is the new alternative to hot orchid from Color Art. It's a prism pour. And I've got some Chantilly lace I kind of wish I'd put in there. So let's just let all these go a little ways. Get that thing out that does not belong. Come here, thing that does not belong. Goodbye, bubble that does not belong. Let's let that go over there too. And back the other way. like I have more paint on one side. In any case, that's pretty cool. And I am going to use, I think I'm going to go one at a time. That is probably wider than I need. I'm trying to wring out the paper towel at the last second. Let's go take that lump out and that lump out. Let's try and find a flat spot. I 
These are my favorite, favorite colors. I have a business card that's my, my go-to standby. I think I'm going to take a breakout and use the rest of the black that I see there. Maybe taking the breakout wasn't the best idea, but I did get to use the rest of the black. And I am going to just lay that down. And I could definitely use the other side. I think I'm going to get rid of a little tiny bit of water every time. I want to use the long side. I could too, couldn't I? I could just put some more cell activator in there. And I could try the long side. It's still not long enough. I'm gonna let it soak in for a minute. Okay, a second. Go back and use the paint on my rag, like in the old days. That's just wonderful. <laughs> I'm enamored. I'm going to flip this around so there's less paint. I'm going to try and let that go right over the edge. Cool. So back to thinking that I'm going to use small side. I might want to put some black right down the middle. I'm going to start from a different spot just to make it uneven. I'm not good at this part yet. I need a flat edge. Oh, come on. Perfect. Well, as close as I'm going to get anyway. I'm going to try and use it again. Those colors are the bomb. I think it's easier once it's heavy with paint. I'm sort of shaking all over the place. I'm going to pull that over to the edge right now and use some of the paint that I've got on my rag while it's still accessible. That's just so exciting! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm such a kid at heart. <laughs> I can't help it. I want to use the old one. Let's see if I can get the, the length right. I think I did a little bit more black. Those cells are the bomb. I've been wanting to have this reaction, these colors in combination for a while. <clears throat> You could just do one side and leave the other side and tilt. I think it's a good thing the paper towel is fairly wet but wrung out a little bit because it seems to be just the right amount of moisture. I'm probably going to have to touch up my edges a little bit. Alright, so we're almost, we're right down to the last 
the last go round and I'm wondering if I have a wide enough paper towel. So what I'm thinking is that I will just use what I've got, the long one. And not go the whole way. Pull that over to the edge, excuse me, use my paint. It's on the rag. Yeah, I think I could be pretty happy if I just went every other one and left some of these um, these gappy things behind. We'll see what, the, what happens another time, not this time. I'm a little nervous working over that, but I'm going to do it. Just whapping that paper towel against the end. Happy that it's not any wetter. And it's covering. I kind of want to blow around in the middle a little bit, but I'd like it to. Oh, I like that. And one of these I could probably put spirals in the middle. I'm very interested in. Pulling my little tendrils through. I don't want to go too crazy because I really liked what I had. But I don't mind the spikes too. I was wondering for a minute, but I'm okay now. <laughs> I think I like dragging the skewer through every bit as much as I like taking the chances, chance with blowing into it. It's almost a geometric with its and this side is so different but it's okay it's just basically based on how much water is left in the paper towel and of course yours might be different completely if you use a fresh piece every time because I did not I just like to break up that hard line in the center. I don't know what's what's the deal with that, but that's my deal. And I don't really mind. This is just, um, this is different on both ends, but whatever. <laughs> so please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. It helps me, my channel remain. Really appreciate your comments. You keep my morale boosted. I appreciate that more than you can have any idea you inspire the heck out of me I have over 2200 videos organized by topic and genre and you can find them on playlists by going to my YouTube channel by clicking on my channel's name or my avatar you'll also find my store there and tomorrow's video might be on the community board it should be it's no guarantee <laughs> I just want to waggle some stuff. Why do I want to do that? I don't know. I like the waggles rather than the straight marks. The waggles in the center just add something that makes me happy. My original swipe formula. You can find my swipes playlist and see I did a lot of swipes with wet carton t-shirts and they worked very, very well. But right now, this is fun to play with. 
Don't want to hard line down the center and I really don't want to hard line in the center vertically or horizontally I should say. I'm holding a torch. <laughs> Waiting for the very last second when I decide I'm actually done. And that's it. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. If you feel like it, check out my link tree. It might be under show more if I had used a smaller tools, so that's the way to look for it on any video where you watch one made with my small acetate tools or my, my toothy scraper tools or anything else like that. So when you click show more, you'll find my paint pouring recipe, and you'll also find the link tree. If it's not already in evidence, the link tree has my Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. It also has my Amazon link. If you shop there at no at a cost to you, it helps me out. I'm going to pick up any little paint that's the right color down here and touch up my little tiny, tiny insignificant missing edges that I used to pull the wet t-shirt over when I was doing that. It's actually really good. I'm surprised. I did let the paper towel sort of slide down over and that worked pretty well. It might be an acquired skill and I had some. Let's go against the grain so you can really see that and I'm going to try and zoom in for you guys. I want to put some spirals in but I think I'm going to wait for another one. I also want to do what I was talking about and uh, leave some of the salad colors behind. I think that would be really nice. So I didn't tell you my email address is the way to contact me should you be interested in inquiring about the purchase of an artwork and if you're interested in finding out information about taking a private class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Oh that's neat. I really like this a lot. Oh boy. Let's zoom all the way in. Why is it not in focus? Oh boy. Well, I hope that doesn't mean I haven't, I've been out of focus the whole time, but I guess you got the gist and you can still see the colors. I love the black and white end. That's very cool and surprising. Maybe I'll figure out someday how I exactly did that and you should try it no matter what. If you have questions, please ask me. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. If you are somebody who makes a donation through PayPal, the icon is on the bottom right hand corner of the YouTube channel banner where the link is on my link tree and you will automatically receive. I will send you an invitation to join in the monthly drawing and there are five, six paintings, sometimes more, and you can see the prizes for the monthly drawing included at the beginning of the exhibition video on the end screen of all recent videos and sometimes all videos but mostly recent ones right now because I haven't bothered to change everything. If you can't find what you're looking for please ask me and I will be happy to help you. Um, Le Galler's clothing is Montreal is a clothing made in Montreal. It's an investment quality. My new store is Society6. Both of those are on the link tree. Spring clothing is underneath the video and the shop is also on my on my uh, YouTube channel. And all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts are available at uh, <laughs> at Spring and also some on the Gallerist. And if you can't find what you're looking for and you want to see something created, um, it can be added to fineartamericapixels.com, Spring Clothing, sometimes the Gallerist, and definitely Society6. So thank you for being here. I have torched to release the bubbles caught in the paint. And if I haven't, I'll do it again one more time just to make sure that it's done. And thank you guys for being here. I'm here seven days a week. I have 2,200 videos organized by topic and genre. I think I might have told you all that, but I've made three videos in a row, so I'm not sure. So please forgive me if I'm redundant. I love you, and I'll never stop saying that. And uh, thank you so much. I will see you guys anon. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, I love you. I'll see you anon again. Seven days a week, hopefully. See you tomorrow, maybe. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Are you in? Come see.